and another morning has sprung welcome everybody to another day today is what's today tuesday and life is great and um it's actually nighttime i'm actually getting ready to go to sleep because i'm tired i have an 8 a.m in the morning but um i wanted to talk to you guys about something that i've been doing that's actually been helping me a lot um, so what that is, is, hold on, let me put this computer down. Oh. So my, my nighttime routine, I've been getting, what's this lotion called? It's called, uh, shea butter. Yeah, that stuff. I've been putting shea butter, like, all over my body. And that stuff, if you don't use shea butter, you gotta start using shea butter. Um, so I'll, I'll put on some vibrations on Spotify. All I look up is, what's it called? It's called meditative sounds, I think is the playlist. And basically it's just like a bunch of vibrations and shit. And, um, I don't know. It helps me a lot. So I put that on and I start breathing. Look, I've been using that V lotion too. My skin's looking all fucking clean and shit and trying to take care of myself um so in bed bed's not made don't judge me um i'll put on the butter put on the sounds and then i'll just start breathing in and breathing out and just trying to fucking relax and um then i go into a meditation and the meditation is usually what i do is like I lay there and I try to focus my, my attention on all of my, all of me, all of my body. And then I, um, just like try to relax. But, um, recently what I've been doing is I've been saying things to me. I've been visualizing shit. I want to happen in my life because you are the creator. You can do anything you wish. And the world is, is yours. The world is a powerful thing and it can give you anything that you want, but the world needs to know what you want in order to give you what you want. And the hardest thing is getting clear about what you want. So when I was asking the universe, you know what I asked the universe for? I've come a long way. When was this? This was, this was last year, maybe two years ago. I asked the universe for five girlfriends like five girls that i could hook up with and i kid you not the the week after i asked for that to happen i i hooked up with five girls and i was like dude this is fucking crazy because the universe actually gave me what i asked it for and now by no means is that something to be proud of. If anything, I, I look down upon that and I just kind of see that as like um, growth. Like I've come so far from then. Because um, now what I'm asking the universe for is um, more so business related, more so success related. And um, what I asked, I asked the universe for traveling i want to make videos and travel that's all i asked the universe and i kid you not about a month ago this girl hit me up in my dms and she asked me for a music video and i just shot it for her and now she wants to travel to florida and atlanta and other states to shoot music videos and i bet it's gonna happen because the universe gave me exactly what i asked it for the world is yours to receive but you need to open up in order to receive that and in order to do that you need to set aside the distractions and sit down and open up this means going out and getting your son this means watching sunsets motherfucker i've been trying to watch more sunsets i'm not gonna lie i've been i've been slacking because it's been cold as shit outside and, uh, like, I don't like the cold. I do not like the cold. I love the sun, and I want to get 
I want to get the sun and all of the answers from the sun. And when the sun's not here, I'm sad. But I can't be sad. So what I have right here is uh, a sunroof. And around 10 o'clock, the sun comes right there. And I lay in bed and I like go like this and like I try to get into it. And that's how I get my sun these days because shit's cold as fuck outside. Anyways, I've found that when I'm lay here and I'm on social media, I don't feel good. There's nothing about social media that makes me like feel content. Sometimes I laugh at stuff, but if you have time on your hands, just sit down and take time out of your day to just breathe. Say things to yourself. Say things you want to attract. Say these things and watch them come to fruition. I promise you that the more and more you do it, the more and more you practice, the more and more you focus your attention on what you want to attract, it will come into your life. It's just the way of the world. And it's, I don't know how it happens, but it is the secret to how I live my life and how successful people live their lives. I actually found meditation because it, um, it helped me with my anxiety and depression. I was depressed and shit because I didn't fit in with anybody. I didn't like anybody really in terms of like the guys in my grade in high school. Um, so I kind of went off on my own path, started reading some books on shit. I got books right here. Look at this, this book right here. This is called I Am, The Power of Discovering Who You Really Are by Howard Falco. This shit's crazy. You got to read this book if you haven't. And um, I started meditating. Hence this, hence my Buddhist, my own symbol. Meditation is one of the, is the key things that's helped me through all of my anxiety and depression. And like, it's fucking crazy. Like, I don't think, I never thought I'd be over here like trying to meditate and shit. But I am. And it's totally changed me. It's totally changed me as a person. And don't feel bad if you fall off your habit. If you fall off track. Like I've gone months without meditating. And then I slowly start meditating again. And like sometimes I'll literally be doing like an hour a day. For like a good solid month. And then you have like a, like a, a backslide. So, it's normal. So don't feel bad if that happens. Um, but one thing I encourage you guys to do is get nature. Start meditating. Start taking care of yourself, your body. Self-care. So underrated. It seems like partying is put on a pedestal these days. Like, social status. Partying. All this shit is, like, put on a pedestal. It's just, it's so meaningless, so pointless, so empty. A bunch of people who are not content with their lives. Going around and partying and trying to numb the pain. And because everybody's doing it, it feels like it's normal. That's fucked up. And I don't want any part in that. So. I'm over here trying to take care of myself because... At the end of the day, all you have is yourself. That's all you have. There's absolutely nobody else. So, I've been trying to take care of my skin. I've been brushing my teeth, getting that shit all white. Stop smoking weed. Um, stop doing drugs. Stop vaping. Start lotioning your shit. Seriously, like, okay, well, I was just sitting on it, but my shit's like smooth as fuck because I've been lotioning it and I've been taking care of it and I've been going to the gym, getting my sleep in, drinking my water and eating those greens, motherfucker, eating those, that broccoli and that spinach. 
I haven't, not gonna lie, I haven't really been eating the spinach, but the veggies, you gotta eat the veggies. You just got to. So, the more you take care of yourself, the better you're going to feel. And the more you're going to be able to attract the things you want to attract. So, this is just a late night message I wanted to uh, kind of send out into the world for you guys to see. Hopefully it helps some of you. Um, but I got to get to sleep because I got to get up for this fucking 8 a.m. Classes from 8 to 10.50. So, you know, it is what it is. I signed up for the class, so fuck it. So, anyways, you guys, this is Crit, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.